continents. The large masses of land on the earth are called continents. There are seven continents. They are as follows. 1. Asia 2. Africa 3. North America 4. South America 5. Europe 6. Antarctica 7. Australia Asia is the largest continent and Australia is the smallest continent. Directions There are four main directions on a map. They are as follows. 1. North 2. South 3. East 4. West These directions help us in locating places on a map. The top of the map corresponds to north. The bottom of the map corresponds to south. The right edge corresponds to east. And the left edge corresponds to west. India is our motherland. It is the seventh largest country in the world in area and the second largest country in the world in population. The surface of the land in India is not the same everywhere. It varies from region to region. Mountains Some places of India have high mountains. A mountain is a very high landmass with sloping sides and peaks. We can find high mountains in the north of our country. They are called the Himalayas. Most of the peaks of the Himalayan mountains are very high and are covered with snow. Mount Everest is the largest peak in the Himalayan mountains. Many rivers like the Ganga, Yamuna and Brahmaputra originate from these mountains. Hills The central and the southern parts of India have mountains which are low in height. These smaller mountains are called hills. The chain of hills called the Plateau. The southern part of India has a flat and uneven surface. The land is higher than the surrounding plains. This type of high land form is called a plateau. This area is less fertile than plains. It covers the largest part of India and it is called the Southern Plateau. It is also known as the Deccan Plateau. Some parts of this plateau are covered with thick forests and many tribes live in these forests. The plateau region is also a storehouse of natural wealth. Desert A dry, barren, treeless region, usually sandy and uninhabited, is known as a desert. It supports only sparse vegetation or no vegetation at all. The northwestern part of our country is also dry, barren and covered with sand. It is called the Great Indian Desert or the Thar Desert. This region is hot and dry. Very few plants or trees grow here. Life is tough in this region. Peninsula A piece of land that is surrounded by water bodies on three sides is called a peninsula. The southern part of India is also bounded on three sides by water bodies. On the west, it is bounded by the Arabian Sea. On the south, by the Indian Ocean. And on the east, by the Bay of Bengal. This part of the country is known as the Indian Peninsula. Island An island is a piece of land surrounded by water on all sides. There are two groups of islands in India. One group of islands is in the Bay of Bengal, called the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The other group of islands is in the Arabian Sea, called the Lakshadweep Islands. Climate As the land surface of India is not same everywhere, so is the climate. Different parts of India have different types of climate. In the mountainous region, the climate is very cold throughout the year. In the northern plains, summers are very hot, whereas winters are very cold. The coastal plains experience a moderate climate. It is neither too hot in summers nor too cold in winters.